Okay, DC, let me go over a few things here I noticed the other day on the course. So, first thing we talked about was this. Because like you've expressed to me, you suffer sometimes from smother hooking the ball. So, I want you to stand a little bit more square in your feet here. That way, when you go to clear through, your left hip wants to get through the ball better. Because uh, remember, like I was uh, telling you, this club is going to be moving a lot faster than your body rotation. So, if you stand a little bit too closed, it's going to prevent your left hip from clearing properly. And that club can really shut down as a result sometimes. So, I think standing a little more square can help out in a couple respects with clearing through the ball. Also, as you're coming up the swing plane line here. Not that it's bad by any means, but if you stand a little more square, the club will have a little bit better chance of getting pushed up. <clears throat> That's not why Rory's on plane. He's on plane just because he is. But for you, the club drags a little bit under. It's not bad at all. I mean, your club face is doing really well. It's pretty much in line with your spine here. But the square stance will help the club get a little more vertical because you can see here... Uh, you're getting a little flat at times, so I just feel like the club will work up the plane better without you having to think about doing it. Another thing I want to see you do here is at address, when I put this line here on the front of your head, uh, the moment you go to pull back, you can see you immediately drop back in your heel. So I think you're standing a little bit too far away. I'd like to see you stand a little bit taller, a little bit closer. That way you don't have this tendency to drop back immediately and pull off the ball. Uh, that way you can keep a little bit better balance going back. The last thing from this point of view, everything else looks pretty good, bud. Uh, getting a good full takeaway, I mean good full backswing. You've really made a good uh, turn, got your back all the way at the ball. Club face looks in a good position. The only reason it's crossing the line is because you've made a real full shoulder turn. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Just like him here. His club's crossing the line of flight. Not because he's doing bad technique. It's because he's making a real good turn here with his upper body. It's going to develop a lot of power. Now let's watch you come down here, Dave. Now here's the other thing I want you to concentrate on. Now you can tell here the ball's hitting on the toe. The reason being is the heel kicked forward like this. That's just the gear effect of the shot. Again, that's going to put too much hook spin on it. So you can solve a little bit of that just by getting closer. Now as you're releasing, you can see right here the face of this club has shut down a little bit too rapidly. It's not really in line with the shaft here. Okay. I think a lot of that can be helped just by standing in a more uh, square stance, maybe even a touch of an open stance. That way your body can rotate faster than the club's trying to get through. So I'll show you here is Rory. Uh, if you didn't know who this was, it's Rory McIlroy when he's really young and had curly hair. But see his club face is kind of rotating the same speed as the shaft here. That means he's not really using his hands too much. His body is really turning well. And you're turning your body well, but the hands and things kind of get a little bit too active and shut this thing down. All right, let's look at the front view very uh, real quick here. Again, it looks good, man. I mean, your swing is really good. All right, let me find Lydia Co. Okay. Now, just a couple things from the front view. Uh, I'd like to see this arm hang a little straighter. So I want to see your elbow, this elbow pointing more at your hip. Your elbow right now is kind of pointing a little bit out here. And you'll see what I mean once you come through. Looks good. Good full extension. You know, right here your elbows are nice and even with each other. It means you have good connection at that point. You can tell your face is a little bit shut. That's because you use a strong grip, but I wouldn't worry about that. You've played golf a long time with that grip, and I don't want to be messing around with your grip. I'd rather you uh, counter this in a different way. Now, as you're coming through, go ahead and I'll show you this here. Your left wrist starts to break down a little bit there. It gets a little cuppy, okay, and the arm bows up a little bit right here. By starting with your elbow pointing more at your hip, 
that arm will be able to release a little bit better. I'll show you what I mean. You know, here you can see her glove, back of the hands a little flatter, arms a little more straight. It's not bowing up on her. So I would try to attack that problem at a dress, not so much trying to do something in your swing. So again, get this left elbow pointed more at your hip. And then last thing here, as far as from the face-on view, is when you're at impact here, and I know you're using a little bit longer club than her. She's hitting like a 7-iron, so this angle will always change. Again, you can tell that you're hitting this ball on the toe because the heel right here kicks open. If you see your face, it's opening. That's because it's hit on the toe. So standing closer will help a little bit with that. So when I draw this line up, you can tell you're just a little bit behind it, which you will be with longer clubs. But you can tell right here, especially on shorter irons, you want to make sure that this is lining up pretty well where her shoulder, her hip, her knee, and her foot are all in the same line here. I mean, you're getting your left leg pretty straight here. But you can see at the end it kind of gives out, which is okay. You kind of chase through it a little. Other than that, man, you got a beautiful swing. I know, I know you can get back to scratch golf where you want to be. So just work on a few of those things and you'll get it figured out. Best thing to do is just go to the range and dig it out of the dirt, bud. Have a good one, Dave. It's good seeing you.